someone famous once said that genius is 99% hard work and 1% intelligence. In this video, I'm going to give you some strategies that you can follow that will help increase your abilities, that will make it easier to learn whatever it is you're trying to learn. I am The Math Sorcerer, and this is my YouTube channel. If you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing today. Cultivate a growth mindset. This is one that is especially hard to do if you are in school. It's very, very hard to focus on growth and learning when you have grades and other pressures ahead of you, but if you try to focus on growing your intellectual ability and learning, it makes a very big difference. You want to embrace challenges, so whenever you have a problem that you're trying to solve, whether it be a math problem or maybe you're trying to write a computer program, whatever it is you encounter that's a difficulty, embrace it, welcome the challenge with open arms, and you will have a higher chance at succeeding. You want to focus on continuous learning and self-improvement. Always look for opportunities to grow, cultivate a growth mindset. Effective time management, what I do is I try to find a time every day that I can sit down and work on whatever it is I'm working on. You should try to do that too. Try to set time aside for whatever it is you're trying to accomplish. For example, if you're trying to learn mathematics, pick a time that works every day. For me, that time is in the morning. When I wake up, my mind is fresh and I am ready to go. There's an old saying in Spanish, it says, el que madruga, Dios lo ayuda. Loosely translated, that means, he who or she who wakes up early in the morning to study is going to be blessed from above. It's just an expression, but the point is that when you wake up in the morning, you are refreshed, and that's probably a good time that you can use to work on your skills. You also want to make sure that you don't have any distractions during this time. You want to have focused study time at a time that is convenient for you. That's really how you can help take your skills to the next level. Embrace failure. That's right, failure. You want to use every failure as a learning opportunity. Every time you fail, look at that failure and ask yourself, hey, why did I fail? What can I do next time so that I don't make the same mistake? As a simple concrete example, let's say you're working on a math proof and it takes you five hours to do one problem. You finally figure it out and you feel like a champion. Well, that's also five hours of your life that you're never going to get back. Some people will argue that that learning process, that five hours that you spent is highly beneficial. And I agree with those people. I think it is beneficial, but it's better to work smart than to work hard or actually do both work smart and work hard. So look at that failure that you had and try to ask yourself, what can you do next time so that you don't spend so much time on the same problem? Again, take every failure as a learning opportunity. Use it as an opportunity to grow. Remember, you want to have that growth mindset. Build a supportive network. This is harder for some people than it is for others. Some people already have a supportive network. They already have people in their lives that are very supportive and that are supportive of their goals and ambitions and dreams. But if you really don't have anyone in your life, it's going to take a lot of extra work on your part to go out and meet those people and make those connections. Thankfully, we have the internet, we have YouTube, so you can kind of fall back on that when you need some support. Prioritize health and wellness. This is extremely important, and it might even seem counterintuitive. If you are trying to learn something or you're trying to succeed at something and you're working really hard and you're working on it all the time, you have to take away time from what you're working on to focus on yourself. And that's where that counterintuition comes into play. You know, why would you stop studying to go for a walk? It's because we need balance in our lives. And by prioritizing self care and wellness, you're basically creating balance, which is making you a more effective learner. Practice. I left this one a little bit later on the list, but it's probably one of the most important and one of the most obvious things you need to do in order to perform at the top 1% level. These people practice and they practice a lot. 
in an era of over-specialization, let's face it, to be even remotely successful in this world, you have to have some skills, you have to specialize in something. And so everyone now is so over-specialized. And so to succeed, to become the top 1% or to perform at that level, you really, really, really have to practice a lot. If you think you're working hard, there's always somebody out there working harder. Never give up. It's really important to stick to your plan, but at the same time when you encounter failure, make amends, right? See how you can fix the situation and do better next time. But always get back on your crusade, whatever it is you're trying to do in life, and stick to it, right? Winners don't quit. Be self-aware. This is extremely important. This will help you find focus and you'll be able to learn faster and better. And you're going to feel like you just got a whole lot smarter. So be aware of your feelings. How do you feel right now? Are you hungry? Are you tired? Are you inspired? Do you want to go out and learn? Be aware of your feelings and let those feelings dictate your actions in some sense. If you're having a day where you just can't focus, then maybe it's time to take a break. If you're having a day where you feel like your mind is on fire and you're ready to go, then maybe it's a day where you want to work a little bit extra hard. Being self-aware of your mind and your body is going to make a huge difference on your performance. Take breaks. This really kind of goes along with being self-aware, but you'll know when you're tired. You'll know when you're burnt out if you're self-aware. If you can keep a check on your thoughts, you know, if you're having negative thoughts and you're not feeling well, ask yourself, why am I having these thoughts? Why do I feel this way? And by doing that, you can kind of control your emotions, which will in turn control your actions and make you a better learner. Believe in yourself. You have to believe that you have the talent and the ability and the hard work and dedication to accomplish your goals. You have to believe because if you don't believe, you're going to fail. You're going to encounter situations when learning that are frustrating, situations that make you want to quit. And it is that power of belief that kind of keeps you going when you feel like you can't keep going anymore. That's why it's really important to believe in yourself. So those are some tips that you can follow that will help improve your performance and help you get closer to achieving at the top 1% level. What do you think? Do you think it's possible to perform at the genius level by simply practicing these tips and just a ton of work? Is it possible for regular people like us to approach the genius level? I believe it is, and that's why I made this video. But some people don't agree. They believe that people are born geniuses, and there's nothing you can do about it to reach that level. I believe that certain people obviously have more talents than other people, but through hard work and the tips in this video, I think we can get there. What do you think? Do you have any advice for people watching this video? People read the comments, and so when you leave good constructive comments, it helps other people. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Good luck. Now go out there and become a genius through effort.